This video is going to cover the topic of calculating percentages. Be sure to have the date and topic at the top of your page. The essential question, which should also be on your page, is what strategy can we use to calculate percentages of a whole? Something we should obviously know by now from our studies with percentages so far is that percent means out of 100. And I know this is something we've talked about before, but it's important particularly for the strategy we're going to talk about because it tells us that 25% is, of course, the fraction 25 out of 100, but more importantly for this strategy is that it can be written as the decimal 25 hundredths. Something else we've talked about in previous units is that the word of is sometimes an indication of multiplication. So for example, if I want 5 tenths of 20, what I really know is that I could do 5 tenths times 20, and I could calculate that out, and I would know that that would be 10, right? So the of is usually an indication of multiplication. So going back to our work with percentages, we're actually going to use both of these things. The fact that percent can be written as a decimal, and the fact that of lets us know that we can multiply. Say, for an example, we want 50% of 20, right? I could do a little bit of rewriting here and calculate this by saying, oh, I know that this is the decimal, 50%, and I know that this means multiply. So I would just have to do a quick little multiplication, quick calculation, to know that I'm really just multiplying 5 tenths times 20 to get 10. So 50% of 20 is 10. That's a really quick way that people um, in real life calculate percentages. And I know this is a really obvious answer, right? You might be thinking, I don't have to do all that to know what 50% of 20 is, right? Half of 20 is 10. But we're going to do this strategy with a few more um, just to kind of see how it works. Imagine, for example, that there are 40 people and 25% of them are wearing a hat. And your job is to figure out what 25% of 40 is. We can just do a quick rewrite. Right? We know that 25% is 25 hundredths. We know that of tells us we can multiply. And so we're really just here with a multiplication question. 25 hundredths times 40. When I do out my multiplication, right, I can see that 25% of 40 is the number 10. Let's try just a few more before we finish this video. And remember, of course, we'll practice this more in class, but let's give this a try here. This one might be a little bit um, less obvious with mental math. So take a moment and recalculate this or reset this up, right? With 60% of 310, you're going to want to write this as a decimal. And then you're going to multiply it by 310. So take a moment, calculate it for yourself, pause the video, and then we'll see how you did. How'd you do? Hopefully, you were able to find that the answer was 186. Right? And I could do that by just a quick multiplication, 60 hundredths or 6 tenths times 310. Let's try another. This time, take a moment to do 42% of 64. And again, my first step is going to be to turn this into 42 hundredths and multiply it by 64. So go ahead and find that calculation. How'd you do? Did you find 26 and 88 hundredths? This would be a good um, strategy to use in real life if you wanted to find 42% of a bill, which is $64, right? You'd be able to calculate this pretty quickly um, to find it's $26.88. Let's do one last practice. Let's find 3% of 28. This time I won't set it up for you. Go ahead and set this up and see how you do. How'd you do? Hopefully on this one you were mindful of the fact that this is 3%, so it's 3 hundredths, not 3 tenths. Hopefully you had that in the right spot. So you were able to get an answer of 84 hundredths. So remember, the essential question of this video was what strategy we could use to calculate percentages. This is a real-life strategy that most adults will use, most people use in their daily lives when they're calculating tax or tip. 
Um, so we're going to practice this a bit in class tomorrow. Feel free to come with any questions you might have.